The puzzle transition is for basically HD aspect only and it's very simple to use. It's a five second transition. I've got it hard coded to try and get five seconds if there are enough handles there. <clears throat> but you can change the speed by creating enough handle and dragging it out to make it slower or compressing it to make it a little faster. And you have the option of assembling the incoming clip on top, which is called assemble or take apart which will blow up the outgoing clip to reveal the incoming clip. Okay, and if I didn't say it, you can download the effect from a link in the description below. And what I really wanted to talk about for this particular transition and other transitions that are similar is that sometimes it's more effective to create a freeze frame while it's transitioning and for this effect it would definitely be worthwhile in many cases because having the incoming clip with a lot of motion in this view the motion actually becomes very distracting so it's very helpful to have basically a whole frame and the reason why this is taking a little while to get out is because I got tripped up on a little gotcha with whole frames so I wanted to talk about that a little bit if you're going to use a whole frame with a transition, you don't really have any choice. You have to add the whole frame first. So I'll take off this transition and we'll just start with the original clips. Alright, so I have this uh, first clip here, which is the daylilies and the Japan plums here. Okay, when I get to the end of this clip, this camera shake right as I'm turning off the camera. So I want to get rid of that. All right, if you have a clip selected, all you have to do to create a whole frame is type Shift H. Capital H creates a hold. And once you create a whole frame, it's really hard to get rid of. Okay, there's no whole frame here. I've shortened the clip. And if I expand this clip back out, the whole frame is back. If I click on this segment right here and create a range and delete it, and then stretch the clip back out, the whole frame is there. And if I undo that and look at the retiming on this, if I go back this way, the whole frame is still there. So I'm going to undo, undo. Anytime you get a hold frame, basically the only way to get rid of it is to renormal the clip again. So we'll select the clip and shift N and everything goes back to normal. Unfortunately, if you have other hold frames in the clip, they all get reset. So let's not make any mistakes. So I've got this camera shake that I need to get rid of right there and I'm going to shorten this. I'm going to select the clip. I don't need this on. If I type the down arrow key I will go to the end of the clip which is the first frame of the following clip. Okay, You are past the last frame of the clip with the playhead. So you need to hit the back arrow once and get back into the last frame that you have cut for your clip. Then Shift H and we'll add a two second hold frame. Now the best thing to do is just stretch this hold frame out. Doesn't matter, it's all the same frame, you can just as long as you need. And for this five second transition you're going to need five seconds at least of hold frame. Now we'll go to this next clip, select it, type the up arrow key. I am at the first frame of this clip so all I have to do is shift H and then take this little grab bar here and stretch it way out. Just stretch it way out. Add the transition. Alright. And now what you can do is enlarge this a little bit 
so we can get some more accuracy here. And you'll notice I have this little piece of clip here. It's green. That means that's going to move. So I'm going to select it. Actually, I'm, I'm going to delete this transition again. Trim the clip a couple of frames. Re-add the puzzle. Did it come back? No. All right, good. So, grab a hold of the little grab bars and pull in this whole frame till it matches the beginning of the transition. Right there. That's close enough. Select this one. Command R. Same thing on the other side, except you always have to grab the right side of the hold and then drag it in and line it up. All right, and now if you've done that right, we can zoom back out and we should have the hold start, transition happen, the clip transitioning in is holding, and as soon as it's assembled, it breaks out and starts to move. And that's what I wanted to talk about, whole frames. I hope you like Puzzle. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll catch you on the next one.